Let's use Excel to calculate accrued interest for investment. Interest on investments are the receipts of inflows on financial instruments like bonds and government securities. It can be either received periodically or all at once, once the security reaches maturity. There are two functions to do this. One is called accrint and the other one is called accrintm. The main difference between these functions, except in the letter M, is that accrint is used when accrued interest is paid periodically and accrintm is used when accrued interest is paid in a lump sum after maturity. In this video, we will check how to use accrintm function. If you're interested to see how to use accrint function, check out my other video on that topic. Let's go over to accrintm function syntax first. This uh, accrintm syntax is a little bit more simpler than accrint function. It has issue date, maturity date, rate, par value, and basis. So the issue date is the issue date of securities. The settlement or maturity date is the securities maturity date. Then uh, rate is the securities annual uh, interest rate. We have uh, par value is how much money we put in the, into investment. The default value is 1000 and the basis is optional. This is the type of day count to use and it can be zero, one, two, three, or four, depending on what you're interested in. Zero is default and it's US day count basis. One is actual over 360, two is actual over 360, three is actual over 365, and four is European, 30 over 360. And now let's see the result. So let's type the function and connect all of these. And press enter. So you can see that your payment at maturity will be $120.56. By altering parameters, you can play and see how your result will change. For example, we can change the maturity date to somewhere later. We can change the interest rate to 15 and uh, how much we entered or maybe interest rate at eight. So, so you see how things are changing. So that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to support the channel by subscribing. See you in the next one.